Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Now today is Colchester United away at Barrow. Barrow currently sits 17th in the league and we are sitting 6th. Today I am pretty confident, not gonna lie. Um, still unbeaten in our first two league games, so I am going for a 2-0 win today. I reckon it's gonna be Luke Gambin and Callum Harriet. The lineups will be on the screen now. I've also got a match pass for today, but yeah. All I'm gonna say is 2-0. Hopefully we can get the win, or at least a point. But yeah, come on the boys. So this is Colchester's lineup for today. Obviously, Dean Gherkin, Karen Bramall, Tommy Smith, Tom Eastman, Miles Welch, Hayes, Ben Stevenson, Chilvers Senior, Poku, Harriet and Brown. And they will be playing in a 4-2-3-1 formation with Brown up top. The team that are literally just about to come out now, they are literally showing the tunnel. Um, yeah, their ground actually looks quite grotty um, <laughs> compared to what I thought it looked like. Um, obviously, the commentators are saying that the weather there is quite nice, so it may not affect culture as much as I thought it would. But it is the team that are about to come out the tunnel in a minute, so I'll see you when that happens. Come on the boys, boys are coming out now obviously, missing Harry Pell but to be honest I think with Tommy Smith as vice captain we'll be fine today in terms of leadership skills, obviously they're just doing their little pre-warm up drills and personally I'm quite I also confident. have to say I think a standout player for us this season is going to be Miles Welch Hayes, now his delivery and crosses have been incredible this year so far, he's quite aggressive as well and we've, I think he's a great replacement for Jacko, also Barrow's teams have just come out now, they're just a little pre-game warm-up uh, and both teams are now lining up at the centre circle. And that's obviously Dixon, Brown, Wilson, Jones, Barry, Jones, Beaglin, Bickens, Hardcastle, Angus and Quigley. Now I've heard of Dior Angus and he is actually a really really good player so I think he's going to be a stand-up one for Barrow today. Kickoff has just but gone yeah, so job. let's see what the boys can do for this half. Right on side, on the whip. Good defending, oh. cleared only as far as the Go edge on. of the box. Barrow oh. still battling to get possession away. Really good there, with really quick build up play. We were, we did actually First almost just give away a goal Colchester because it was a bit sloppy in the really defence, but we counter attacked quickly and it did almost lead to a goal. Go on, Callum. I also didn't realise that Callum had his number changed for this season, so did Kwame. Um, but now you do. That's a, that's a good ball. Go on. Oh. Quickly, I had a very dangerous run there actually, and it's just gone past the face of goal. He's looking quite dangerous for Barrow at the minute. Obviously, they're using a fast build up technique, and they are doing very well with it at the minute. We are a bit sloppy in defence, we say this all the time, but when it's fast build up play, we are quite sloppy. But yeah, goal kick to Colchester. Corners of Colchester now. Bramwell's standing over it, he's taking his time a little bit though. Ball's not bad. Headed, he's headed away though. Chilvers collected it, Chilvers going to take a shot, shot but Dixon collects it. Corner for Barrow then. Um, obviously it was ripped in really good by Hardcastle and Quigley has just gone and completely headed it. Literally, no one was in the goal, it was an open goal and he's just headed it wide of the post. But apart from that, Quigley has been their danger man so far, as well as Brown in their left back position. Look who's decided to join me halfway through, aren't you? Score prediction, quickly. 3-0 um, to Colchester. Okay, right. Free kick. Oh, that, that was poor from Bramall, wasn't it? Yeah. He needed straight up. Yeah. So, your score for the two three now, right? Okay. Wipe the ketchup off your face, by the way. Yeah. yeah. What a goal from Noah Silvers. Honestly, what a goal. That is insane. 33 minutes gone, 1 0 call you. Honestly, it's a, it's a banger. Singh has gone and done his fancy footwork. Poku's only just missed it. Hit out. Oh, what? This, ready? What a way to get your first league goal. Two more minutes. Both, no, two minutes added on for the first half. Half time, one in touch as well. Kick off for the second half has literally just happened. Um, Eastman clears it up the pitch, and Harriet almost ends up running onto it, but it is cleared away. Barrow have just scored exactly the same goal as Noah Gilbert's did from Jones. So, one all in the 54th minute. Free kick to Colchester. 
Oh, Quigley just took a shot and it literally hit the post and Gherkin just stood there, which to be honest, he, he did that a few times last season and yeah, it didn't end up very well. But I mean, to be honest, we're being a bit, we switched off a bit. Norris had a really, really good shot then, but it was deflected just right and it is a corner and we have, well, we are approaching the 90th minute now and Cohen Bramwell is just about to put the ball into a box. It's a good ball. Oh. Well, Chase has had it over the bar. Four minutes of added time to be added on as well. Free kick to Barra here. Free kick for Colchester in basically the last 30 seconds of the game now. It's in a scoring position. I just don't think Cohen's going to be able to. Go on. Oh, it's gone in against the wall and uh, yeah, it's cleared out for throwing. That is full time, it ended one all here. Honestly, the boys are so well today. We're a bit sloppy in some areas, but apart from that, an all round great performance. And at least we picked up a point on the road here. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.